guys, Curl Blind Wave, I'm Aaron. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. We are back with Assassination Classroom, where last time... They're gonna save Kuro-sensei. We're gonna mm -hmm. save him. Last class. Mm -hmm. March 13th Actually, is graduation and the end of the world, because kuro is gonna blow up. I was gonna say, like, yep. if they're, are they always called something class? Or are they called something time? Yeah. I was calling it last class. The last episode well, was really it's good. period, right? Um, I don't know. I wrote down pastime. And I wrote down confession time. And I wrote down secret identity time. And I wrote down let live time. And I wrote down think outside the box time. And I wrote down finals time. You need to think outside the box oh, now. School festival. It time. is a uh, third term. I thought that said school fellatio time. Third no, not yeah. fellatio. God, it's festival. You can't read school. For <sighs> I had no sense of time. Me either. I know we're halfway done. I knew that whenever it showed the chalkboard that one time. I don't remember. I, mean, I saw it, but I lost it. I like paintball episodes. Yep. I like paintball. Everybody just, they, unfortunately, they, they get a kill and they're like, yay! Everybody just say, Psst. <laughs> <laughs> But Nagasa is like a bolt of lightning out of the clear blue sky. It was weird that we were getting all of the information on Red Team, but nothing was blue, really. Or at least the, the coordination like we were getting from Karma. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what Blue was doing. Yeah. I get what Karma means in terms of, uh, like, Nagasa's uh, abilities. Like, it seems like it comes a little more naturally in Nagasa, whereas Karma has to work harder to achieve the same thing. Sure. No, that happens a lot with various things, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. If someone kind of takes things on more naturally or yeah. seems more effortlessly, yeah. but other people struggle more. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, his point, too, I think of, like, you know, Koro Sensei brought us into this to do this to end with us killing him. That's yeah. what he wanted us to do. That's what we should do. It's mm -hmm. kind of like the other route that he's taken things. And yeah. Nagas is like, no, he helped us so much, we should try to save him. But I feel like Karma's idea and some of the others might be like, to honor him, we should do what he wants. But then he showed up, just like, all right, paintball, you guys decide. I guess I'm unsure. Like, he didn't, he what, didn't voice yeah. his thoughts on it yeah. at all. You sure. Know? I'm unsure what he wants. Cora? Yeah. Like, obviously, he's creating the assassination classroom, and that was the whole thing, is kill him before, but it was also to take care of those kids. Yeah. Was his, was his ultimate goal, you know? Yeah. Or his promise. And I, don't and I selfishly think that he's such a good teacher, like, I think that he could help other kids. So I would, I would want to save him and have him yeah. take on the next class. I don't exactly. think that he had a life before him. So, mm -hmm. there's not, I don't think there's anything else that he's like, I would be leaving this. Sure, yeah. Either way, so... All he has is the class. Yeah. One, well, I think that he's probably judging himself a little bit, too. Like, am I deserving of having someone save me? I've taken so much. You know? Maybe. But uh, my point was just, like, I don't think one side, like, you know, both sides seem almost impossible. It's yeah. not like, you know, they've been trying to kill him the whole time. It seems to be not something you can do. Yeah, sure. So when you say, like, well, we don't know how to save him, it's like, well, I don't know if you know how to kill him either. Well, it's, it's the two sides of, um, like, the Reaper mm -hmm. and then the woman that fell in love with him. Yeah. Like, she was trying to save him, and all he knew was killing. Sure. So, like, those are the two sides of the class that has become of, of Koro Sensei teaching them. You know, he, he has that compassion and that nurturing side, but he also has the killing side. He does. And It's what he knows. Yeah. They've yeah. kind of, like... I don't know, like Venn diagram of, of like those two philosophies mm -hmm. overlapping. Sure. I also don't think both are equally impossible, right? Like, they I mean, know. they can't be, but I don't know. I don't have the knowledge if I can pick one or the other. I mean, we know things that will kill him, right? We don't um, know what? anything that will save him. Sure. So I feel like you're closer on the idea of killing him than you are saving him. Uh, I, I, I get what you mean. I, I think that you are closer. I don't think that speaks to the word impossible. Well, I mean, just in the idea of, like, we have no idea how to save him, we have no idea how to kill him. Like, well, we have an idea how to kill him. It's just a matter of, yeah. like, We've, getting that point. If he really wanted to die, he could other... just not move, you know? Sure. Or we make a deal with him where it's like, yeah. let us cut off your tentacles. I guess you know? I guess my point is that we have a lot of invested and a lot of knowledge, and we've already done a whole lot on the killing side, but no one's even attempted or to try the saving side. And we have two other examples of people with those tentacles being able to have them taken out. Mm-hmm. With Ituna and um, yeah, I can't remember her name right now, but uh, Kayano. Yeah, Kayano. It's also easier to destroy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So point for that side. 
We're saying it's easier to like destroy a building or build a building. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Is it easier to make a life or take a life? Take. There's tons of people that try to make a life and can't. There's tons of people who try to take a life that can't too. (laughs) Well, to be fair, (laughs) I guess to an extent, yeah. But they just they weren't trying hard enough. (laughs) I guess you can only try so hard when you're making a life. You can't try harder. You just keep doing it. I don't know. Just tell people accidentally do both. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you're not... I, I get your point. You're not creating anything. You're trying to save him, right? So you have to actively take action to save, not necessarily to create. But I sure, my point wasn't that. It's just mm-hmm. it's easier to destroy in general, I feel like. Depending on your goal. You like, can take anybody... It's can, easier for me to let you live than me to kill you. Anybody... To, to let you live, I do nothing. Anybody to kill you, I have to do something. something so it's easier life. to let you live. Technically, it's just, no, it's, it's lazier. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's easier. La- no, not necessarily. Okay, so if, if I have the choice to kill you or not to kill you. If I choose to not kill you, I do nothing. Nothing. Lazy. Which is easier than killing you. I mean, right? yeah, what, are you going to feed me and stuff too? Because now you got a whole nother level. Uh, that wasn't part of the deal. I, well, I will die. If you move I the will goalpost. die if you don't feed me, Eric. <laughs> okay. So now you got to feed me too. So now, now what? Uh, I got to feed myself. I'll get some for you too. And because you're alive, you can help get me food. Well, what if I'm not going to do that? You See? Do that. Exactly. No. Then you're, then you're then lazy. you'll die lazy on your own. And lazy. <laughs> and I have to do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, if you take anybody and be like, hey, can you build this or can you destroy this? The mm-hmm. destroying one is something like anyone can usually do. Right? Except yeah. building wise. And yeah, I took Rick and Maggie. Yeah. Rick could probably destroy stuff. <laughs> I don't know if you could build the same stuff that Maggie's building. <laughs> or curing or solving or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. So, but from, from a... I would like them to save Koro Sensei with all that being said. I'm yeah. not like, I think they should kill him. I was like, oh, if they could save him, be good. But he's also a weird tentacle yeah. monster I think who Karma is going to self-destruct with no warning. Yeah. Well, a little bit of warning, but... Mm-hmm. From, it is the fr- greatest mass murderer maybe in the history of the world. Maybe. Assassin. Um, I would say assassin. There's mass murderers that have done way more than the Reaper. <laughs> But there are, but like in terms of like actually doing it with your hands, is that what he does? I mean, he assassinates people. Yeah, I mean, like this mass murderer is like Pol Pot, but they didn't like go in with a knife and got every one of them. <laughs> you know, no. the Huns were pretty successful. Sure, they were. But Reaper might have shot. Him. <laughs> I was gonna say, if if you're thinking or speaking from a very reductive point of view. Like, the lazy option is to let him explode, but you have to interrupt that with an action to cause that to not happen. Yeah. My point was lazy, by the way. I'm glad that you gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who's going to win between Nagisa and Karma? Nagisa, I think. I don't know. It could be Karma. Like I said, I think Karma works harder. Wants it more. Nagisa, I think, I think is gifted, but doesn't want to use that their gifts in that way, necessarily. I think this is a cause that Nagisa can believe in, though. Mm. I think, if anything, Karma convinces him otherwise more than defeats him in an assassination game. Karma convinces Nagisa? Yeah. If he's going to win, I think it's via that route. More than... More than him defeating him. Yeah. To where Nagisa agrees on we need to kill Koro-sensei. Not that Karma kills him or beats him. Because I think Nagisa, like, if he continued on this path, he would probably be the next Reaper. Probably, from what we've seen, but he has that more he can similar... be the next teacher of assassination classroom and pass Maybe. on knowledge to others. He has the most similar like talents. I don't know. Yeah, talents or like physicality as the Reaper when he was growing up. He relied more on like charm and 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 deception than just raw strength like it's... karma. It, it is still funny, the rules and the, the way this show forces you to think. Where it's like, well, we can use our assassination uh, skills to better people. <laughs> you know? Like, in, our, in a classroom setting. Which still seems like, it seems like it should be, what are you talking about? But I get it, because I've watched the show for so much now. You well, know? it's like all sports, right? Like, they have kids do football because it teaches them this, or this, or this, or this. But sure. we're still yeah. no, I hitting each other and... Yeah breaking bones and getting sure. concussions. I mean, how yeah. the idea of military, lots of military people get better at learning after being in the military, you know, mm-hmm. just in general learning. Sure. But they're also learning 
other things to hurt and kill people. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I wish they would have used the robot AI girl. She could have just been like back, like guarding a flag. Yeah. You know, just covered with sticks, you know, like blocking her. <laughs> Dawson just, <laughs> and just starts shooting. That'd be great. How do you get her out? You have to shoot her. Yeah, but her on the screen while she's on that part of the screen? And or just her box. Like, just, just shoot her box. Shoot anywhere in the box? Yeah, shoot yeah, her box. I think the box would count. When you guys play paintball, do you go one rules of like it needs to be like a vital section or can you get shot in the foot and you're still in, but if you get shit, shot in the foot and the hand you're out, or just, you just do like if you're shot at all, you're out. I've only played once. Hmm. And there's only three of us just running around shooting each other. Gotcha. It's always just so been this. Paint is out. Okay, gotcha. Like my first shot hit me in the watch. And I didn't feel it. I was like, oh, that wasn't yeah. bad. The next shot hit me like in the back. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> get shot with the ones that don't burst. They're just yeah, I don't too know. old. I really just hurt. Like, I remember being pinned down at like, there was like sandbags. Like there was like sandbags tall enough that I could hide behind them laying down. Like they weren't too tall, you know? And I'm just like down and they're shooting. And there's just sand. I'm like, ah! Sure. I remember that. The worst. They both are shooting. The face mask when your mouth is open. Oh, That's the worst. Yeah, because then you just get a. That was the worst part. Some of these kids didn't have goggles. I'm thinking like, like damn, kids they have shooting like these, their eyes out. They had like hood goggle things. Some of them did. No. Those were really cool. Yeah. Yeah, they were cool. Yeah. We should do paintball. We should. I keep saying we should do it. When? Hold up. I am. You just said it. No, hey, when do we do it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And where? Uh, Where's a good question? Eric's farm. <laughs> yeah. I want like a cool, some pretty I cool, like a cool arena. Arena? Some yeah, cool, cool woods. place to, to fight. The first floor. <laughs> They're collecting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the clone trooper. Eric's like, no. Yeah. I don't know where a food place to fight would be. That'd be fun. Like a Walmart. Food for less? That's taken up now, right? Yeah, know. it's odd lots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or big and small lots. Kmart is a. We could mall. do it in the parking lot. Of I mean, more like a small part like of it. Like between though. cars. Yeah. Just in the parking lot? Just yeah. a random parking lot? Like, yeah, <laughs> wherever there's like cars, the there's cover. That's the street. Let's just go do it. Let's just do the, it through Marietta. Uh, uh, all the locations we did like. We already played that. Aaron. <laughs> we did like that. That's through most of Marietta. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. We'll set two flags. We'll know where the flags are, and the goal is to get through Marietta. I'll have to be on defense because I'm not going to find that flag. Yeah, I know, right? We need teams though. Just four people is not enough, right? Wait, four no. people is not enough. We're gonna take on all the wave riders. No, we'll have teams. Four of us. Well, it could be, it could be tower riders. defense. That would be pretty fun. Tower defense. We're like American gladiators. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they have to start over by the river. Their yeah. respawn is over there. They and only get. We're pistols. guarding the roof. Yeah. <laughs> and they have there's, to storm the. There's the a hundred of them. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know if I could kill all or hit all the people that were at the Star Wars Celebration. If that's any indication of how big WaveCon is going to be. Could you imagine running through Marietta where they're all chasing you? Just, Ugh! Uh, <laughs> you couldn't carry enough paint. <laughs> John Wick situation. Yeah, be great. You have to take their guns from them. Avoid the stairs. Yeah, right? You just... That'd be fun. It would be. I'd be too worried people with real guns would see it and be like, something's going on. Oh. Yep. Yeah, that happened. Sign a waiver. I like the That's waiver part. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm right> there. <laughs> it was a thought I had before that. <laughs> you die, we're not responsible. <laughs> we got some crazies around here. You, you hear shots, just si- get down. Sign a waiver if you're coming to Ohio. <laughs> not just all the while. <laughs> I like the one part where it's like, stop being one with the shadows, dang it. <laughs> Dude, the, the one girl crawling up was spooky. That was exactly. creepy. It's like the fear. Yeah. 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 It's just some kind of like... She was used. Japanese, uh, what are they called? Demons. I wanna Oni. Say, I want to say origami, but it's not. That's wrong. It's something it's Ami's. Definitely not. Like Oni. Right? No, not, not Oni. Oni. That's a demon. I thought, what did you just ask? Like a Japanese like, ghost thing. Like oh, I thought you said Japanese ring. demon. No, demons are Onis. Okay. I know what that is. Did you? Okay. I could have sworn you with that. What is the word for Japanese demon? I don't. I don't know. Rick knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know. What it's, they're they're in um, 
Shinigami. No. They're in uh, the ghost hunting game. That's Mophobia. Yes. Wow. You got it. But that's not what the word we're looking for. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Assassination Classroom. We're looking forward to the rest of this paintball bout and at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can check out that reaction right now on the Uber tier. I don't know if it lasts more than one episode. If it does, you might have to check out some of the other tiers. Bye, everybody. Here's the paintball. I don't know.